What's up guys, it's your boys the Wookie back at it with another scary, terrifying, and creepy video from the man, the myth, the legend that started pretty much all of the scary compilations. I, I have a feeling that's what, what happened. But it's Nuke's top five, top ten scary ghost videos that'll make you spell badly. I'm not quite sure what that means, but we're going to be watching it. So grab a chair, grab some popcorn as we watch Nuke's top five newest or top ten Newest video right here, right now. Let's take a look. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe right now by hitting that white bar icon down at the bottom right. Smack that bell icon next to it. So I do post videos like this one. You get that little ring notification that's Wilkie myself has posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, Thank you so very much for the continued love and support that all of you guys show on this channel every single day. I can't thank you guys enough. Keep doing what you guys are doing, and we'll continue to grow together. Speaking of growth, check out the link in the description for Nuke's Top 5 himself. If you've never watched his stuff, what the heck are you doing? Make sure you guys go over to his channel, give him some love by watching his old stuff, watching his new stuff, subscribe, comment, like, and share for him to put this together for us to enjoy, get scared, and lose ourselves in terror. It can take a lot of work, a lot of effort, and we want to give thanks back to the creator. So go and do so. And with that being said, let's get in this video and see why this will make us spell badly. I don't know what that means. Let's take a look. music to my ears let's do it when bad things come to those who wait this next mysterious video was shared to the internet without a source the footage appears to have been recorded by a cctv camera inside a restaurant while the staff is finishing up work and cleaning up for the night okay what happens next is shocking looks like a winery Bucket. Oh. Oh, she sees it. Why is it always the quality of cameras just suck? Oh! A mop and a bucket can be seen sliding across the restaurant floor by itself. It but most horrifying of all, some kind of invisible force violently grabs the waitress by her hair and pulls her backwards out of That's frame. That's not no string, okay? Now, without a source, we don't know what happened next. Hell. But I'm imagining lots of screaming and running. Hopefully she's alright. I got chills. Look. Oh, dear. Oh boy. A couple of young hunters are out scouting the countryside for deer. They search and film through a camera with a long range lens. That's a big when lens. suddenly the hunter catches something that is just weird. Wow. Respond while we're watching them. Oh, this thing. Right. I think it's How a skinwalker. Two more black dots. Right Cody, how do you turn oh, this on? Right, right, right there. Oh, what the crap? Is that a guy? I can't tell what, what it is. <laughs> what was that? And the funny thing is, I'm literally watching the thing right now, and it kind of resembles kind of like the posture and the movement and stuff like that. But they think it's a skinwalker. So, what do you think? Skinwalker, <laughs> walking creepy. Dude, that was a skinwalker. <laughs> what? Follow him. Follow I videoed him. it. I, I would not be it. laughing about this. Okay? <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm gonna get my. <laughs> that was a skinwalker. <laughs> no. What? Even in the distance and with the bad video quality, it is obvious that some strange, large, misshapen figure seems to be chasing the deer and running at an inhumanly fast speed. The unidentified figure looks humanoid in shape but appears to run on all fours like an animal. So the guys weird. are confused and laugh it off but are like baffled a, by what they just captured. Like a senator? The hunters still have no idea what they filmed to this day. It's something weird. Through the eyes of a child. Early one evening in Louisiana, Mallory Weber is taking a fun video of her son Cashton when something oh, unexpected happens that absolutely chills her. What? Cheese. This is creepy. Cheese. Where's it going? What you up. doing? No. What you see? 
Grandpa. What? Lucy? Papa? Hi. My grandpa? Uh uh. Who are you saying hi to? Oh my gosh. Who I'm are like, you hi hell to? no. Dude, you need to stop that. You're freaking me out. Come on. <laughs> The little I've boy appears out. to see someone standing inside Mallory's bedroom. Someone he calls Paw Paw. Freaked out by his behavior, Mallory quickly walks over to the bedroom to look inside. But there's oh, no gosh. one there. Baffled by what just happened, she posts her video to TikTok where it quickly spreads and is watched by millions. Her comment section is flooded with questions, so she decides to answer a few in two more videos. There's really not much of a bad story, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just videoing him being cute and saying cheese and then that happened. Um, Where is his papa? Never happened before. Both his grandpas are still alive. Okay. It's my grandpa and my husband's grandpa that both passed away like a year ago. Um, He did meet both of them. Uh, they never lived in my house before. That bedroom was me and my husband's bedroom. Grandson. I'm trying to think of all the questions because I want to answer all y'all. Um, I don't know. That's about it. This never happened before, so that's why I was telling him to stop and that it was freaking me out because I didn't know how to respond. It never happened and it was freaking me out. Uh, but what else would it. Papa mean? Who's Papa? Um, Papa could be my grandpa or my husband's grandpa because they both passed the same year um both it, my son's grandpas are both alive i don't know if you call them grandpas papas grandfather i don't know but we call them papa that's how they are down here that's what we call them i hope that answered your question i don't know uh, so could it be that the boy saw the spirit of one of his parents grandfathers or what do you think is going on here? Let me know. Seeing something. Listen to your kids, man. In another video, this time from Georgia, proud mother Christy is home alone with her two-year-old son Levi when he too sees something that his mother just can't see. Where's your favorite place to go? Who's he looking at? What do you see? I see something behind her. Say what? I see something behind her in her tiny room. You see what? A bad thing. A bad thing? A bad thing. A person. What does it look like? A ghost. A ghost? There is one. No, no, there's no ghost. No ghost here. Ghost be gone. I want to see a heart here. I would Mommy, so want to see what they're seeing. My room. It's not sad in my room. It's not scary in your room? Mm -hmm. Well, you need to stop acting weird. It's sad in here. It's not scary in here. I feel everything pulled in the hat. There's a scary thing floating. <laughs> Where? The hat. Baby, there's nothing there. Yes, no, there's not. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Little Levi appears to see something that he describes to be a quote, bad thing, a quote, ghost, and a quote, scary floating, floating thing. thing. He urges his mother to go to his room where, in his words, it's not scary. After the shock wears off a little, Christy seems to kind of believe him, and she follows her son into his room. Uh oh. No, this kind of at me. Who in my room? Try to go in mommy. Who in my room? Think it's savvy. Go in my room. Think oh, it's Who in my room? Uh, mommy, call it me. Okay. Is he talking to it? Who? Cool. Mommy, who? Cool. Hmm. Well, it can't be too scary if he's walking towards it. Mommy, call me here too. It's nothing scary. Nothing scary. Now it's worth mentioning that Christy's TikTok page is completely dedicated to cute videos of her son, but none of them have anything to do with the paranormal, except these two. So huh. could little Levi really be seeing a ghost? Something you guys that's scary think? enough for him to warn his mother and guide her to safety? Let me know what you think. 
listen to your kids, your animals. We need scary videos. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Inheritance. This, this doll. next TikTok user might seem familiar to you as we've featured the beginning of his story on Nuke's Top 5 before. It's Jeffrey. Now Jacob says that he inherited his grandmother's house after she passed away and he now lives in the old home. Hell no. While cleaning out his grandmother's belongings, he finds a creepy old antique jester doll. <laughs> Jacob feels eerily drawn to the strange doll and decides to keep it sitting it on top of a bureau in his bedroom. Oh, it's ugly, it was scary. a very bad idea. Oh, I hate this doll. One I night, Jacob is woken this. up by the sound of knocking coming from his bedroom closet. Nope, nope. I've had dreams about this doll. From the closet. Nightmares, okay? No, I can't have dreams about being Iron Man. I have to have dreams about this scary doll. And he comes outside and is looking at him. Jester or Jeffrey? I think it's Jester. I don't know why I want to say Jeffrey. Soon after posting this horrifying video, Jacob just sort of disappeared from the internet. Good. Now it's nearly seven months later, oh and gosh. Jacob is back. He says he's been busy slowly renovating the house and has now moved the Jester doll into its own room. Yeah, pissing it off. Jacob says that for seven months, nothing really happened. But then late one night, Jacob is again woken up by a strange sound. What happens next is chilling. What? I just heard banging. Jester is. I can't remember. Then he puts him in the basement. Yeah, I mean, this is where Jester is. Oh! It's like the size of a small kid. Banging coming from the room next to his, oh. the room where he keeps the jester doll. I hate dolls. He gets up to investigate but finds nothing out of the ordinary. But then he hears loud footsteps coming up the staircase right behind him. The door to the doll's room slowly swings open, and when he turns around, the doll now seems to be staring at him. Jacob is absolutely freaked out and decides to move the doll once again, but this time he leaves it all the way down in the basement. After everything that's happened, he decides to buy a security camera to keep an eye on the creepy doll. And that might have been a mistake, because just days after putting the Jester doll down in the basement, things start to happen that are absolutely terrifying. Yeah, put it in the corner where 
Oh, oh, we didn't see this one. Who's that? Strange shadows can be seen moving around the creepy doll, and TikTok viewers swear oh. that they can see one of the doll's eyes moving. Ah! But that's not all that Jacob's security camera captures. What happens next is pure nightmare fuel. I think we've seen this one, where the light goes... <laughs> I didn't see the eyeball. I know it's coming. Oh yeah, his arm. Oh, another one. Oh. Hello. The doll's arm moves by itself just before the basement light bulb shatters. Then in a later video, the camera is pushed over without explanation. Jacob now believes he might have inherited a seriously haunted house and doll. Yep. And is getting increasingly more freaked out as each night passes. I'm getting he doesn't out. want the doll anywhere near him and will continue to keep it in the basement. <coughs> You can follow Jacob's paranormal captures over on his TikTok page, The Clown Doll 5. That, oh. What waits below? I don't know if I can follow Paranormal it. investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the YouTube channel Ghost Ooh, Tech like Paranormal channel. Investigations <laughs> explore the Kelvin and Hatch nuclear bunker in England. Ooh. In the early 1950s, the bunker was built 125 feet underground and was intended to be the center of operations for the UK if there was ever a nuclear attack. The entrance to the massive structure is hidden inside an otherwise very normal looking cottage in the middle of nowhere and surrounded by woods. Visitors and staff have often reported seeing multiple apparitions inside the bunker walls. Why? An old lady is often seen wandering the hallways. A female Royal Air Force officer in uniform is said to appear and shout at visitors to get out. Why? And finally, a male officer known as Charles allegedly wanders the areas on the second floor. The bunker was decommissioned in 1992 and is now a museum. The Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations team plans to spend the entire night underground in the bunker as they attempt to capture evidence of the alleged ghostly sightings. Well, now the Kelvin bunker has three levels, and the investigators find themselves on the top floor passing through the dormitories. On a previous investigation of the Kelvin Hatch nuclear bunker, Lead investigator Jeff says that he experienced a completely unnerving paranormal experience in this very room. What's you, Jeff? You all right? Something went. Somebody passed through him and the camera. I like, split through. I got touched on my arm. In there. Right next. Was it laying down? Hello? Did you just touch me? And now, years later, Jeff and his team are back again, oh. alone inside the same dormitory room and in pitch black darkness once again. The guys do their investigation and then decide to leave the dorms, but it did not go well. We finish the session in the dormitories and as we try to leave, the door will not open as if it's been held from the other side. I try to open the door, pull in as hard as I can, but the door will not open. So they're like locked in there? Who's holding that door? I 
accidentally locked? Oh, I could not look in that window. Can we come out, please? We want to come out now. Thank you. Crazy, I was locking him in there. That's not creepy. Well, there's nothing wrong with that door now. The dormitory exit door seems to be held shut by some unknown force, but then after a polite request, it suddenly just opens with ease. You gotta be polite, Jeff you know. says that it felt like someone was holding the door shut on the other side. Now this is where things take a very creepy turn. Creepier? After a long night of investigating, the team heads off to bed. Bill is preparing to lay Get down the inside beds. the dormitories when unbeknownst to him, their static camera captures something chilling. Phil what? arranges his bed. There is no one else on this level at this time. And as he climbs into his bunk bed, a figure which moves at great speed passes the window at the far Woo! end. You can see the dark hair and a white shirt as it passes by. An unknown figure passes by the same door that was held shut by oh something earlier. The Ghost Tech team says that no one else was on this floor at this time, and the entrance to the bunker was locked shut. Also, it goes without saying that this small, dark-haired figure certainly doesn't look like any of the Ghost Tech team. So just who or what is this? You can watch this investigation with even more spooky moments over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. That looks like a good... Nuke's top five viewer, Luke Hosea, reached out to me about a very strange event that took place in broad daylight on the street in front of his home in Leicestershire, England. England. The spooky and baffling moment was caught by his family's CCTV camera. It's not showing anything. It's not a very clear picture because there's lights quite shining on it. That's something on fire? A bizarre bright light that resembles fire seems to appear out of nowhere behind the cars. Luke says that neither he or his family have any idea what these strange fireballs could be. There are no electrical lines and no telephone lines running above this particular area. What? So I leave it up to you. What do you think this strange ball of light is? Is it just I'm a stumped, glare? So. Uh... Let me know. A glare from like a the window? waving woman. Paranormal investigators Pete and Dan from the YouTube channel Night Watchers Paranormal Australia set out to investigate the allegedly haunted Mapleton Cemetery in Australia. Ooh, Australia. The story goes that over the years, many people have witnessed the eerie apparition of a woman crossing the road next to the cemetery. Uh. They say that the mysterious woman waved at them and then seemed to disappear right before their eyes. Dan and Pete begin their investigation by setting up two static cameras, one recording in night vision mode. As the investigators are still deploying several motion sensors around the graveyard, their night vision camera captures something truly bizarre. Okay, there's Dan and Pete. Looking, I'm looking. Dan and Pete. Dan and Pete. Shout out to your walks behind the trees. That moves fast. They're not moving, look. 
A they dark shadow-like figure can be seen quickly darting from right to left across the cemetery grounds. Now whatever it is, the figure is dense enough that it actually blocks out the light of Pete and Dan's flashlight as it passes right behind them. The two investigators don't hear or see anything at the time. And they only discover what they captured later when reviewing their footage. So could it be that the mysterious waving woman made an appearance? Or let me know what you think this is. You can watch sure. this entire investigation and many more over on the YouTube channel, Night Watchers Paranormal Australia. I'm gonna go check him out. Danvers State Hospital. So these next two videos were posted to YouTube a long time ago and nothing in either video was intended to show anything supernatural. Or for abandoned in places. fact, both videos were posted by urban explorers who have never posted a single paranormal video ever. So they're not looking Some sharp-eyed Nukes Top 5 viewers watched these videos and noticed something strange that was missed. Uh -oh. The first video was sent in by Nukes Top 5 viewer Macy Asher. The video was recorded way back in 2003 by a guy named Dave who was filming inside the infamous old Denver State Hospital. The Denver's Hospital was an insane asylum built back in 1874. Back Eventually, it was discovered that patients were being subjected to horrible treatment and abuse at the hands of the hospital staff. Denver State Hospital was doctors. closed and abandoned in the 1990s. It goes without saying that the huge empty structure was said to be extremely haunted. So Dave is exploring the basement while recording everything on an old analog camcorder. Dave doesn't know it, but he captures something truly bizarre. Whoa! You see the shell figure walk by? Did you see it? Oh. A dark figure can be seen moving inside a doorway. Now Dave has never said that what was captured was anything paranormal. In fact, he's never even saw the figure. Oh, and the footage no. is over 20 years old. But a watchful Nukes Top 5 Photoshop. viewer spotted this creepy figure and... I'm not sure what it is. How old is Photoshop? Could it be that Dave accidentally captured the spirit of a Danvers Hospital patient? We'll never know. So it doesn't say that fo uh, Photoshop was created in 1988, apparently. But that's not Photoshop. That's like video editing. And video editing apparently has been around since 1970. But not to significant advancements like that kind of thing. So that's definitely peculiar. A scary place to live. Oh, man. School spirit. This next video was sent in by Nukes Top 5 viewer Ethan Sheely, who together with his brother used to explore abandoned places in North Carolina That's and nice. upload their footage to YouTube. But since then, Ethan has moved away from home, so no more exploring. One night, Dad. Ethan is feeling a bit nostalgic about the old explorations with his brother and takes a look back at their old videos. In a something. video where he is exploring an abandoned 1950s middle school, he spots something that he had never noticed before. Uh-oh. That's creepy. I'm looking everywhere. What is that back there? Oh! You saw that figure? Did you see it? At the end of a hallway, a dark figure can be seen stepping out of a doorway and then disappearing right back inside. Ethan explains that he and his brother explored every single inch of the building that day and they didn't uh, find any squatters or homeless people in the building. So what is he it? has no idea who or what this could be. In the room, my butt. Hell's Kitchen. This next Chef spooky Ramsey? video from Krugersdorp, South Africa was shared to Reddit by user PuzzleheadedSnow23. Puzzle the footage head. shows a woman taking a tour through an empty apartment, recording each room as she goes. But it seems that there might be something else inside the apartment with her. Nuka's got some good ones where you don't even see these ones.
I turn around and go right back outside. Oh my, it's that one? For some reason, it's so clear on this one. How did she not see that? Did you see it? Oh An my. unidentified figure can be seen walking through a door and just passing through the kitchen. Reddit user Puzzlehudded Snow 23 claims that the filmer didn't notice whoever or whatever this is. Oh. So is this strange footage proof of the paranormal? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? If that's a hoax. You that's, decide. Like, that's like one of the king of hoax. Thanks so much for watching. As always, my schedule is weird, so please hit subscribe okay. and also hit the little bell notification icon so you never miss a video. Follow me on the socials if you've got some random comments because most of the time I answer. Or if you say something horrible, I block you. <laughs> but one of the two. We'll see you next time, Nuke. So with that being said, make sure you guys comment your guys' thoughts down below. Let me know if you guys thought this was real, fake, fact, fiction, whatever have you. There was a lot of good clips in here. I definitely enjoyed it. If you guys did too, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. So keep it real. Keep it safe. And as always, keep nerding on, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.